Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where we will show you how to optimize steel structures in STAD Pro Connect Edition according to the Eurocode EN 1993 design standard. Over the next series of videos, we will show you the complete workflow for performing an optimization on a steel structure in STAD Pro, including specifying the steel design code, specifying the optimization parameters and commands, and then completing your workflow for an optimization. Now before we begin the design and optimization process, we're going to turn our attention to the sample model that was supplied with this training course to familiarize ourselves with the steel structure by reviewing the information that has already been created. Let's first take a look at the property area for this model. Now we can see that this model contains sections that were already assigned section properties and material properties. For this model, we will be using the IPE sections, angle sections, and tube sections that were assigned to this model through the European Sections Database that is supplied with STAD Pro. In addition, let's also take a look at the analysis area. So before any design or optimization commands can be created, we must first start with an analysis command, which is already contained in this model. For this model, we will be doing a P delta analysis that includes the effects of both P large delta and P small delta. Now that we've taken the opportunity to review the information in this model, let's start our workflow by specifying the steel design code that we will be using. To start this process, we're going to select the design page in the workflow page control area, and we're going to ensure that we are working on a steel workflow. In the steel design dialog, the first step is to select the code you'll be using. You can see that STAD Pro comes with a variety of both US and international design codes for steel. For this training today, we're going to be using the EN 1993 design standard. Now along with the European Euro code, we are able to also select a national annex that corresponds with your region that you'll be designing your structure. To specify your national annex, we're going to come down and select the Define Parameters button. And we're going to find a parameter for NA. Now the default for this um, parameter is, to, is set to zero, meaning that the program will perform the design without the national annex. So we have various national annexes for different regions, and we're going to select National Annex 1, which corresponds with the UK. Now once we are done adding this parameter, we'll click the Add button and then we'll click Close. And let's go ahead and quickly take a look at our design structure before we move on to the next step. We can see we're starting with our Analysis command and then we specified our steel design code. In addition to setting up our current steel design code and the National Annex, we are also going to take an opportunity to specify the steel grade for our structural steel members that we'll be performing the optimization on. To start this process, we're going to go to our steel design dialog and click on the Define Parameters button. Within the design parameters, which are specific to the code that you selected, we are going to select the SGR parameter. And here we're going to enter the appropriate grades of steel for the particular sections that we have in our model. For my model, I'm going to assign the 2S35 option. We'll go ahead and click the Add button. And we will also be adding the 17S355H. Again, we'll click the Add button, and then we'll click Close. We'll scroll down in the Steel Design dialog and then assign these parameters as needed. First, I'm going to start with the SGR parameter, and I'm going to assign these to my IPE 300 sections. Now, I can choose a variety of assignment methods, but for this model, I'm going to choose to assign them by, based on their property name that was assigned to them. So come up to our Select tab in our ribbon toolbar. I'm going to select by property name, and here I'm going to select the IPE 300. I'm going to assign to my selected beams, and then we'll click the Assign button. 
Now I don't have to close this dialog, I could just move on to my next parameter I want to assign. So I'll assign my SGR17 parameter and I'm going to assign these to my tube sections. Again, we're going to assign to selected beams and then we'll click the assign button. Now, even though we'll be performing an optimization for this particular model, we still need to start with an initial section property, which we went ahead and did. And we assign the appropriate steel grade to those section properties. In the next video, we'll be moving on to start our optimization workflow by assigning some optimization parameters. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.